Yo, what's up? This is Tito Puente Jr. And you're watching the number one pro wrestling show, Division One Pro Wrestling. Weba! Some excellent, excellent technical maneuvers being pulled out. He just won't let go of that headlock. Absolutely not. Applying pressure to the neck. You see Joe Odor and Odoro on the ropes, and the referee's admonishing. There's a three, and he breaks before the five count. And Odoro coming after. Oh! Quick reversal. Oh, only for a two count. Picks him up in a scoop slam, and he slams Odoro down to the mat with authority. And another snap man. And he has Odoro down, absolutely keeping his opponent grounded. Him right in the headlock, you see the way he's leaning his whole body weight across the upper chest of CJ O'Doyle. That'll wear you out fast. Absolutely applying pressure. He just head to that neck, trying to cut off the supply of oxygen to his opponent. And you know, John Davis might be one of the few competitors here in D1PW who could conceivably defeat you with a move as oh, and O'Doyle with a thumb to the eye there and hammering, absolutely hammering the back head of John Davis and he has him down. O'Doyle needs to take advantage of this. Oh, and he's choking the life out of him. And he had just that moment of opportunity when the referee came in between and to break him up against the rope. Oh, and there he goes again. The referee's got to get in there and break this up. Come on, referee, do your job. The referee admonishing O'Doyle not to be choking the opponent. And O'Doyle wasting valuable time. He has John Davis down. He needs to be staying on top of him. He cannot give Davis even a moment to recover. Odoro trying to go for a snap suplex there. Can't get it. Davis and block there by Odoyle. And the reversal by Odoyle. Snap suplex in the center of the ring. And see, what is Odoyle doing? He is opposing he is to the crowd. He's showing pride in his own abilities. He's proud of himself. He's proud of what he accomplished. He needs to let everybody know. Yes, but Pride right now needs to take a back seat to the victory. There he is again, choking him. And you know, if O'Doyle would take advantage of these moments when Davis is down, he wouldn't Look need to. Look at the way this guy's across the throws here, argues with Chuck R. There, classic. O'Doyle establishing himself obviously as a dirty competitor here, not having much respect for the rule book here, and delivers a fist. Oh, a nice forearm shot to the side of the head of John Davis. But you know what, if he comes down here and beats John Davis in his debut, they're not gonna ask how did he do it. You're gonna see that W in the win column and his name is gonna shoot right up the rankings. Oh, absolutely, and you know what, you would have to wonder if that would put him in line for a possible shot at the Caribbean Championship in the near future. Well, I could put him in, in line for all kinds of title shots. John Davis, the top competitor. You beat him, you've done something. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. The credentials never challenged by John Davis, and there you go. A nice headlock applied. The referee getting in there to make sure that the elbow's above the chin, and he sees that it is. Adoyle telling the crowd to shut up here, trying to keep them out. Davis starting to get worn down. You know, Odor is, is doing well, cutting off the supply of air, trying to wear his opponent down. Oh, but Davis with an elbow to the abdomen. Oh, and another. Oh, but O'Doyle just sends Davis down headfirst into the mat. He has the big man, Davis. Oh, a nice elbow right to the sternum, and he needs to take advantage of this. He needs to stay on top of his opponent. He needs to continue to work him. He's wasting valuable time right now, just standing over his opponent and taunting him. You do not want to do that against John Davis. He will make you pay for it. Well, CJ Odoyle right now sending a message to everybody back in the locker room that he is going to be a force to be reckoned with here in D1 PW. And that message seems to be going across loud and clear for the time being. Big chop delivered by O'Doyle. But he's, oh, he's just, oh, he did there. All he accomplished was getting John Davis angry, and O'Doyle knows it now. He's starting to reconsider whether or not that was a bright idea. Angering the tough guy. Oh, and another chop delivers. Has no effect. But, oh, and now Davis delivering the right hand. Oh, and the chop takes down O'Doyle. Right hand takes him down again. Oh, and another. Oh, Davis is webbed up now. He is ready to go. O'Doyle is in a world of trouble. Davis with a strike. Oh! Runs into the big boot of C.J. O'Doyle. Doyle has him rough. 
Oxman, oh, spine buster. On Odoro, there's the cover. One, two, oh, and a kick out by CJ Odoro. O'Doyle is proving that he can go and hang with John Davis, proving he is every bit as tough as he says he is. And that well placed knee there by O'Doyle. In the knee to the face there oh, by John Davis. Go. Oh, and he has, has him up. Finish are coming up. He has him up on his shoulders. Oh, O'Doyle with a reversal. He's got the cover there. Oh, he has the ropes. And it's over. A and he's got quick three count. C.J. O'Doyle pulling off a quick three count against John Davis. A huge victory for C.J. O'Doyle here in his D1 PW debut. My goodness. What a name he just made for himself, Frank. That is the way that you burst onto the scene here, D1 PW. You come in here, you challenge a top star like John Davis, and you beat him one, two, three. Absolutely. C.J. O'Doyle looking quite impressive here in his debut. Like I said, whether his uh, hand was on the ropes or not doesn't matter because C.J. O'Doyle just beat John Davis. John Davis obviously upset trying to let the referee know about the illegal tactics. The referee didn't see a thing and it doesn't matter. These fans trying to let him know but it will all be in vain. It's a victory today for C.J. O'Doyle over the next level, John Davis. First and foremost, man, everybody here except for you saw that his team behind held the ropes for the three count. I've been in this company for a couple of years now. Each and every time I come out here, I try to be the nice guy. Each and every time I come out here, I'm getting screwed over. Scott Commodity proudly defended the Caribbean heavyweight title until a career-threatening injury took that away from him. And then at D1PW's Friday the 13th, that title was put up for grabs in a match featuring six men. A match where anything could happen, and it did. Tommy Vandal, with the help of his new buddy Maximum Capacity, walked out of there with our Caribbean title. Now Max, don't think I've forgotten about you. The bounty hunters are in place and Saturday night, you will be taken out for good. But as far as Tommy Vandal, the new Caribbean champion, this Saturday night, you put your belt on the line against your very own brother. The true pride of the Vandal family, Johnny Vandal, is going to prove once and for all that the little brother is the superior one. Johnny's going to walk in there, and he's going to take that belt from around your waist, and walk out of there as the new Caribbean wrestling champion and when he does that belt will be back where it belongs in the family and falcon as far as you're concerned saturday night while we're ending maximum capacity's career we're going to end yours as well this Lou cipher one-on-one -on -one, the biggest man in d1pw is going to take down the falcon saturday night you better be there because if you're a fan of maximum capacity or the falcon this will be your very last time to see them in action.